Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and today we're going to be talking about this. This is one of my favorite bugs. This is a praying mantis. I love these little guys. Hello. I'm not sure if I speak for everyone, but this is like one of the most popular bugs that you can get. Look at him. Look at him. He's so funny looking. But this is a praying mantis, if you didn't figure that out instantly. And this is my favorite bug. I don't know about you, but it's just... It's just always fun to see a praying mantis with friends. You're like, oh wow, look, a praying mantis. Everybody huddles around it and you just watch it. And it's just, it's just an awesome bug. They're really fun to have around. And, you know, I can hold them like this. You're like, he's not going to bite you or anything? It's a praying mantis and they're very safe and very fun for me to handle, actually. I like handling them. Put you on my shirt. I'm going to be very gentle. There we go. There we go. See, that's how much I believe that this bug is 100% safe. And the best way, if you're, uh, you're getting around my neck, where'd he go? You sure he's still there? Oh, hi. <laughs> All right. Praying mantises, I absolutely love them. They're just, they're just an awesome bug in general. Like most people know what a praying mantis is. But a lot of people don't know this kind of praying mantis. You know, there are some that are local to the United States, but most of these were brought over from Europe. And these are European mantises, and they can have this brown, blotchy look, or they can be green. You can have a solid green mantis, and either way, they're both really cool. You look at them, you're like, oh, look at it, it's a mantis. It's a mantis. And most of them, they were brought over to help deal with insects that were affecting, you know, farms and everything. And they brought them over to help with that, and it did not help that much because they eat each other. They are actually a cannibalistic bug. If this one runs into another, another uh, mantis, then it's going to eat it. Whoop! Did you see that? He just tried to fly away. Now this one has really tiny wings. This kind of mantis has these little tiny wings, and they can they can fly to an extent, but the Chinese mantid and the Carolina mantid fly a lot better than this one, which is also good for farmers because they know it's going to stay in the same area. So mantises, one of the things I remember as a kid, I actually had one as a pet for a year, and to an extent, they are some, they're really fun pets. You feed them a cricket and you watch them whack it, and it's slightly violent, but I still enjoy it for some reason. <laughs> and. Uh, but like the problem is like the reason you wouldn't see mantises at pet stores like scorpions and tarantulas is because they only live one year. It's a very short-lived pet. They they're born in the spring and they die in the fall. And you know when you think about that, this one is actually nearing the end of its life, which is kind of a bummer. But it's gonna you know there's gonna have about a thousand babies from one egg. It lays a big egg and it stays dormant all winter and then it hatches in the spring and they're microscopic little things and when they hatch they're gonna spread out and they are cannibalistic like I said so the little ones will actually eat each other but the ones that do the best there may be about a dozen or so in each batch on average that survive but they spread out and they go everywhere and they have the same life cycle I'm gonna show you down here if you can see this if you put them, if a mantis, if you find one walking around this is the best way to pick them up you see it? And he's going to be a little bit you know, apprehensive and you're going to put your hand behind him and he's going to walk onto your hand and boom, you have a new best friend. There you go. And he's going to go on my shoulder. There we go. We're going to name it Manty because that is the most common mantis name. I think I named mine that <laughs> when I was a kid. So you're Manty number two. You're Manty 2.0. This is probably one of the best predatory bugs that you could find. I think it's better than spiders and scorpions just because it's completely different than any other bug. It actually grabs them with its front claws, which is pretty cool. Alright guys, so I'm going to put Manti back on that tree. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time.